Hello, my dear students. How are you feeling? Are you cool or sleepy? Or are you being silly today? I am very excited because in this lesson we will talk more about extracurricular activities and practice using the adverbs enough and to. Believe me, you will like this class. On your screens you will see two photos. Pause the video, look at them attentively and say what they have in common. These are the projects that students created in biology and board games clubs. They are different, but both of them belong to the same extracurricular activity. Guess which one? It is an academic club. Academic clubs are different extracurricular activities where students learn more about a particular topic. It can focus on students' interests and hobbies such as cooking, films, video and board games, fitness or whatever else they would like to spend their time on. Now, let's find out why academic clubs are so popular among secondary and high school students. Take a look at your screens and listen attentively. Agree or disagree with each statement. Explain your choice. Academic clubs are cool because you can choose the specific club you like. You can take part in different competitions and even win the awards. Furthermore, in these clubs you can find friends with the same interests. And some students can even start and guide their own club if they can find the one they like. If it sounds cool to you, put your thumbs up. Right now we will look at the specific clubs that are typically the most popular among the teenagers. Take a pen and a piece of paper. Pause the video. Look at the academic clubs on your screens and rate them from 1 to 5. Where 5 stars is the cool club that I want to attend and 1 star is the most boring one. Ready? Let me share my personal rating. I gave 5 stars to the robotic clubs because I am a fan of modern technologies and I want to take part in creating something cool. Then goes the experiments club. I am a very curious person and like to learn difficult concepts through fun and engaging activities. The third place in my rating goes to the travel club. I like traveling and I want to know more about unusual destinations. Board games are not so interesting for me so I put only two stars for it. The last place in my list belongs to the business club. I am not interested in this sphere, so I wouldn't attend it. Now, I would like to invite you to visit one of the classes of the experiments club. On your screens, you will see the objects that students have for this experiment. They are baking powder, cold water, food coloring, oil, vinegar. What is their experiment? Let's watch a short video and see if you are right. It is a lava lamp. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Before doing an experiment, all the students of the club read the instructions attentively. If you do something wrong, you won't get the result you want. Let's read it together. First, you need to pour water in a cup. 100 ml should be enough. Secondly, add food coloring and vinegar, but not too much, just one spoon of each ingredient. Then. Mix it well and pour in the bottle with oil. Make sure you add enough baking soda. If you don't do it, there won't be too many bubbles in your lamp. Well done! You have probably noticed the adverbs enough and too in the instructions. We got acquainted with them at our previous lesson, but today we will learn more about their usage. We can use too much, too many and enough to talk about quantity. Let's consider the following examples. 
There is too much juice. There are too many books. I didn't drink enough water. But what is the difference between these three sentences? First of all, the words too and enough have different meanings. Do you remember them? Pause the video and say which adverb means needed amount and more than needed. You are right. Enough means the needed amount and too is more than needed. Secondly, too much and too many are used with different nouns. Too much is used with uncountable nouns, things we cannot count. For instance, too much salt, too much rice, too much happiness. Too many is used with countable nouns, things that we can count. For example, too many girls, too many cats, too many eggs. It's time for practice. Take a pen and a piece of paper. Pause the video and read the statements on the screen. Find the mistakes if there are any and write the correct answers. Ready to check? Let's do it. Sentence number one. He talks too much at the lesson. Sentence number two. I read too much information about famous writers. The next sentence. We didn't write too many sentences. It is correct. The fourth sentence. Anna attends too many clubs. It is also correct. And the last sentence. Adam has enough time to prepare for the test. That was awesome. Today we discussed different academic clubs and the advantages of attending them. We even participated in the experiment and learned how to talk about the quantity of objects using the word combinations too much, too many, and enough. Now imagine that you can join an experiment club for one day. What experiment would you like to try? Write an instruction using the adverbs too many and too much and enough. Thank you for a wonderful lesson. See you next time. Bye.